Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding uh, materials for our lake. Okay, we have it our preview. And, and also we have it our layout. So we actually can take now our high field from this point. Okay, let me click and connect to our output. Okay, if we preview at this point, you can see we have it right kind of almost like right there we need put it material and again i'm going to create water material but you can change and create any other ones included lava if you want with additional texture so next i'm going to create colorizer and combiner so we need two of those copy paste them placed right here we'll take our colorizer and i will switch this Maybe to drainage, except I want to create a darker blue closer to the end. Kind of more water to this edge. And you know what? Kind of maybe around. So this is will be highest point. And this little bit low. So I want to just create maybe like almost form type look around this area and right here we're creating kind of more dirty look so just you can play around but only one thing how I say it's think about this is will be our lowest this highest and we can play a little bit maybe with a depth as well on this case with coloring so next what I'm going to do is take and connect this to high field so right here we have a nice set on high field we go select connect inside and add our color and right now okay let me go ahead and change this color to actually we'll go to use it minimum and pop up all the way to the hundred so if we look right here we have it all blue so what i want to do i want to modify this and work with the little bit masking to control that properly so for the masking i want to take from my connection from about water and convert this to um, using constant so let's go ahead and do this i'm going to select add constant we'll go add to the mask on a constant again okay, this is constant what so helped me after to set properly level as well okay and this is level is also will help us create some transparency maybe by using this constant we can apply additional transparency so i'm going to create a new um combiner and we'll take our high field connect right here and combiner okay also I'm going to set let's go open this right now and this is we'll just go ahead and set as a differences on this okay and maybe I don't know just set around this area except differences is have it nice you can see right edges it's why I want to create four more different color so but now I need it to um, cut off so we'll go to the mask and right in this area right here you can see we have it very nice effect on the different differences so the edge is a little bit higher than middle this is actually it's what I was going for because with these edges remember it's a apply the height of terrain below so we can apply different transparency now will be lighter or darker depend on the height of this so we can apply darker more solid inside and a little bit more transparent on the edges base it closer to the edge okay so the edge still be a little bit sharper I want to go to probably just let's just in case put a little bit blur between this and this so we'll go apply maybe about 15 somewhere around there and we can go ahead connect this to the um, masking so right here see how we have a nice mask okay it will lock preview I'll take my constant and I can increase look on this 
now I have a transparency and because we have a difference apply notice our transparency change on the edge less than on the middle so we can create real depth of this water okay let's preview okay click preview right here and you can see we applied of course I have a little bit problem around the edge which I need to rework so we'll need content take this one and bring it closer but overall right here we have a very rough shape right now with the water going around um, to rework on those ones it's many times involved to set properly shape to contain this in right area and this is kind of done between selecting um, our connection right here you know what let me go rename this it's a uh, water spread let's call around this one and we also have it right here water level I want control and synchronize them both to easy way to do this actually it's using color parameter so we can go right here and we can connect to the maximum and we can connect to height here so now by using this we can utilize this property to connect them both together and notice right here because spread and other ones the link together so now we have it only one parameter and um, we can call this lake height so on this case by modifying this parameter we can control both how far lake spread and going up okay so let's go ahead open oops right here preview is locked so in this case what I'm going to do it's a open lake height and you can see I can create a small lake increase in size same as my uh, water of course if we're going above the edge we have a problem but in this case you can create a nice glacier effect or other things but overall right here we have our lake you see how materials interact creating semi uh, transparency effect not really but kind of faking one and we also have it a water transparency okay let me see if I set right here this will be let's go to set name okay so we have it water transparency as well okay in this case we can open and you can see we can modify the layer of transparency that going through this water kind of so increase depth or other ones also uh, right this right here with water we're using minimum you can try to create um, in some cases different type um, layer water effect and method of blanking uh, blending see which one will work best for you and overall right here we have it our output again um, to create properly we need to go and create bitmap output and we'll just take connection right here select it okay preview so right here we have it our image and overall okay let's preview this is just our color map that it simulates somewhat transparency for our materials and overall we have it again effect um, these materials will need work and you also can output additional um, map if you want it for your water so in this case if you have it any um, reflection you want to add to the water you can just take output from um, water spread from this area and just apply this as a masking for reflection if you need it but if you just work straight out uh, um, from world um, world machines let me open and render one more time on higher so right here you can see we have a very nice interesting spiky effect that I had with higher resolution and you can create from them we can color them actually as a fir tree so you can have it fir tree um, inside the lake and 
you can create this inside the world machine again if this is spike is too high for you or you want modified remember it's right around this area where we work with them you can go inside and increase a little bit smoothing or reduce amount of the spike just bring them down as well if you need additional you can add blur for filter just right between there which is will bring also down them as well okay. or if you um, always can go ahead and put a traditional clamp just to take uh, some of this sharpness away it's multiple ways you can do it so normalize input and bring them way down maybe to about no more than maybe one meter high so from zero to one meter okay we don't no, we just need a clamp soft clamp normalize so in this case um you can see them they just teeny tiny about one meter height okay maybe just so we can preview let's set them maybe to 10 meters okay, okay right here 15 meters let's click ok so right here you can see we have those rocks so they're not very high and spiky okay and now let's go inside and render the again okay and you can see right here we cut down on the fir trees but some small rocks still be and um, probably maybe I need to increase this so we can see more of those rocks pop up valley because I can see a few of them right here but because erosion how it's work so remove some of them so we can go apply and creating them a little bit a um, little bit bigger size so just overall a different ways to look and thank you for you to for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and i hope you enjoy it please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com